Coming up, Kazakhstan is India's largest commercial partner in Central Asia. What products does Kazakhstan buy and supply to the markets of the South Asian country? Find out in our news release. The speed of mobile internet is rapidly increasing in Kazakhstan. What was the reason for this? Watch up next. 24 years ago, on December 10th, Kazakhstan's capital officially moved. Kazakhstan detected 648 coronavirus cases in the past 24 hours, recording the highest daily number of infected in Karagandi region this time. 115 residents caught the infection there, 97 in the capital of the country. Pavlodar region came third with 76 COVID-19 cases. In total, since the beginning of the pandemic, the number of confirmed cases, the number of confirmed coronavirus cases has already exceeded 978,000. Meanwhile, according to the Kazakh Health Ministry, about 22,000 people in the country continue to receive treatment for COVID-19, 4,000 out of whom are in hospitals. The coronavirus vaccination campaign is well underway in Kazakhstan. 8,260,725 people have already been immunized with two components of vaccine. According to Reuters, the United States Food and Drug Administration granted emergency authorization for 16 and 17 years old to receive a booster job of Pfizer vaccine against coronavirus if it has been at least six months since the inoculation of the second component. Earlier, the pharmaceutical company announced that this three-dose vaccine neutralizes the Omicron variant. And uh, America is making progress. 200 million with two shots and more kids vaccinated than any country on earth. And uh, we got to, we got a lot of work to do, but we're going to get that. We're going to get through this. We're going to make it through this and uh, we're going to be OK, in my view. British Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, Sajid Javid, made a disappointing forecast that almost a million people in the United Kingdom can get infected with the Omicron variant by the end of the year. The country detected nearly 600 cases of the new strain to date. The real number of infected is many times higher, the health ministry believes. The British authorities obliged the population to wear masks in public places and work from home if possible. What we hope is by taking the action now, we can avoid further action later because this does buy us time. It buys us time to build our defences and our best defence still remains our vaccination programme, in particular the boosters. My job is to, is to do the right thing, um, led by the evidence and uh, to, to do what is necessary to, to protect this country, particularly obviously on health and, and social care matters. This pandemic has not gone away. Following the results of a number of studies, Japanese scientists concluded that the Omicron variant spreads 4.2 times faster than the Delta strain, Bloomberg reports. The new mutation is more contagious and is capable of overcoming immunity developed both naturally and with the help of a vaccine. The speed of mobile internet in Kazakhstan has increased by more than 60% since the beginning of this year and amounted to 31.93 megabit per second. By this indicator, the country surpassed all Central Asian and the EAEU countries except for Armenia, Finprom.kz reported. According to analysts, the growth in internet speed is directly related to a significant increase in investments in the sector by mobile operators. Following the results of 10 months of 2021, the amount of investments in telecom totaled 96 0.5 billion tinge, which is almost two times more in comparison with infusion of previous years. Analyst assures that almost all investments were made by businesses without attracting budget. India has invested almost $15 million in Kazakhstan over 10 months of this year. According to Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of India to Kazakhstan, Shuptarshini Tripathi, the Kazakh market is very attractive for Indian entrepreneurs since the creation of joint enterprises gives them wide access to the markets of neighboring countries. Besides, Kazakhstan is the largest commercial partner of India in Central Asia. Today, this South Asian country imports from Kazakhstan such products as oil, uranium, phosphorus, various fertilizers, 
and minerals. India in turn supplies medicines and pharmaceuticals, components for mobile phones, some types of building materials such as bricks and silica blocks. Thus, the bilateral trade turnover between the countries over the period from January to October this year has amounted to more than $1.8 billion. It's a very important year because uh, while uh, Kazakhstan celebrates 30 years of its independence, we celebrate also 75 years of our independence. I want to tell you that India and Kazakhstan have very ancient relationship. They go back to more than 2000 years since the Silk Roads and uh, till date we find a lot of linkages between the two sides. Uh, we have had political engagements at the highest level in uh, SICA, in SCO, in UN. We look in the same way on several issues of the global importance and uh, we look forward to uh, working together. Leadership, stability and progress form the basis of the formation, development and strengthening of independent Kazakhstan. Chairman of the Majlis Nurlan Nikmatulin stated this at the International Scientific and Practical Conference in Nur Sultan. It is dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the country's independence. Kazakhstan had become the first Central Asian state to be elected a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. Nikmatulin also said that the country's policy framework laid by Nur Sultan Nazarbayev is being successfully implemented by the current president Kasim Jumar Tokayev. Yel basımız Nur Sultan Abishul Nazarbayev in just 30 years, under the leadership of the first president of Kazakhstan, Nursultan Nazarbayev, the country has taken an incredible journey from being a peripheral union country to becoming a full member of the world community, a regional leader, a modern state with a strong economy and a stable society. Kasim Jumar Tokayev, continuing the first president's strategic course, is implementing large-scale reforms aimed at modernizing all spheres of life of Kazakh society. Prominent foreign and Kazakh state political and public figures, scholars and experts are taking part in the conference. According to the first deputy chairman of Russia's state Duma, Alexander Zhukov, Kazakhstan is the powerhouse of integration processes in all of Eurasia. He noted that over the years of independence, the country has made a huge economic breakthrough. In particular, the volume of trade with neighboring countries is growing every year. Joint ventures are being launched and labor migration is developing. Kazakhstan is among the recognized world leaders. Presently, we can say with confidence that Kazakhstan statehood has taken place. We see that the Kazakh leadership is pursuing a multi-vector foreign policy aimed at preserving peace and harmony and is deservedly a full-fledged proactive member of the world community. I wish to emphasize that we are glad for the success of our Kazakh friends. We continue to be firmly committed to strengthening and developing our alliance твердо приверженным линии на укрепление и развитие союзнических отношений. The tourism sector of Mangastau region has attracted a record amount of almost 500 billion tenge of investments over 10 months of this year. The region entered the top 10 promising tourist destinations of the country. It is planned to implement 13 new tourism projects worth more than 300 billion tenge in the next five years. Eight projects are planned to be introduced here with local companies by 2024. Tourism. In recent years, tourism has become one of the priority areas for the development of the region. If 10 years ago, the main area here was the oil industry, now we see the indicators, figures and statistics showing that tourism is on the rise. There are main macro indicators which characterize the development of tourism. These are investments attracted in the tourism sector, these are the provided services, this is the number of tourists visiting the region. These indicators describe the development of tourism in the region as a whole. Speaking of the number of tourists, nearly 139,000 people visited Mangastau in the first half of the year, which is three times more than in the same period of 2020. This is not surprising because the regions are actively developing all directions of tourism to every taste and opportunities, including beach, environmental, cultural, business and sacral.
Infrastructure of tourism began rapidly developing, roads are being constructed, the inflow of tourists started to increase, a golf club, shopping arcades are being built in the beach area this year. This project in Kazakhstan is definitely the first. There are no such amusement parks even in the CIS. The Ferris wheel was constructed in accordance with global best practices. People arrive here specifically for beach tourism, but also sacred tourism is gaining momentum now. People come to visit our sacred places. Not only Kazakh residents, but also foreign nationals visit sacred places. Underground mosques, Biketata, Shopanata, Shakhpakhata and Sultan Yepe are very popular among them. Travelers do not forget to get to such unusual picturesque locations as Bozjara, Mount Sherkala and Torosh Valley of Bols. In a word, this area has something to amaze its visitors with. A book with 130 rare maps of the Kazakh state was published in Brussels. Professor Muhit Ardagir Sadek Nazarov worked on it for 15 years. He collected information from around the world, researching data from international scientific centers. As it turned out, the very first map, which dates back to 1562, was published in Antwerp, Belgium. Its author is the scholar Gerardus Mercator. As noted by the Kazakh political scientists, the maps of European and American scientists of that time served as a reference for researchers and travelers of Eurasia. They helped them to establish diplomatic, trade, economic and cultural ties with the Kazakh state of the 16th to 19th centuries. Имена казахского государства на европейских языках, на латинском языке, который вы знаете в Европе. The name of the Kazakh state in European languages sounds very similar, both in Latin, which, as you know, was a scientific language in Europe, and the living languages, namely English, French, Italian, Frisian, Walloon, and German. For example, it is the word Kasaki, it is Hasaks, it is also Kaski Tartari, Kasakia, Kasaki, Kasakia Horda, independent Kasaks or independent Kasaks Turks. The future citizens of Kazakhstan, our children, must see these maps, they must know that they are the descendants of the people who have long history statehood. Twenty-four years ago, by the decree of first president Rusultan Nazarbayev, it was decided to transfer the capital of Kazakhstan from Almata to Akmola. The official move took place on December 10, 1997. In May 1998, the city's name was changed to Astana. In March 2019, president of Kazakhstan Kasim Jomar Tokayev signed a decree to rename the capital Nursultan. In such a short period of time, the main city of the country has changed beyond recognition. Architectural buildings, beautiful alleys, streets and houses are symbols of the achievements of independent Kazakhstan. Today, Nur Sultan is rightfully considered one of the most promising and dynamically developing cities of the Eurasian continent. Articles by statesmen and public figures about the life and work of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev published in the newspaper Yegemen Kazakhstan were included in the book People and the First President. Its presentation took place in the capital. The event was in honor of the 30th anniversary of the country's independence. The publication consists of four sections – Architect of Freedom, Architect of Statehood, First President and the Capital, Far-Sighted Politician. <laughs> What kind of state have we become over these 30 years? The whole world knows Kazakhstan. We are part of the largest organizations, including the UN. The country's economy is rapidly developing. This is a great merit of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. The great deeds of the first president are described in detail in the book People and the First President. An exhibition dedicated to the anniversary of the capital's independence, sovereignty and the first president also opened where about 50 photographs of the country's famous photojournalists are presented. Their works tell about the history of the formation of independence. They also cover important events with the participation of the first president. Their value is undeniable because our 30-year history is captured in every moment, in every photograph. Currently, these materials are stored in the personal archive of the president.